kid, want to do a tablet review? Ooh, what do I get? Unimaginable riches? Marketable plushies? Your immortal souls. You get the tablet. Yeah, okay. Hey guys, Dragon Sheep here. You may not know this about me, but I have been drawing and animating with a mouse up to this point, so setting up this tablet will probably be a learning experience for both of us. Ah, oh, there they are. Each and every one of my flaws. I'm going to provide some tips and commentary on how to use it, as well as some things I like about it. The box is really pretty, first of all, and on the front and sides you can see some details about the tablet. Gotta open this. Figures it's the one time I don't have anything pointy around. Oh well, the pencil is mightier than the sword. Ooh, it even smells good. Here's the tablet. It's even bigger than my laptop screen and super shiny. Gaze into infinity and the sadness of your own reflections. There's also a protective covering to peel off. Watch, this is going to be so satisfying. Okay, they're losing points for that. I'll get it off later. Here's something you're supposed to use to prop it up, maybe? Good thing this bag came with a bunch of instruction manuals for noobs like me. I'll be able to show off how all these things function as soon as I'm done reading. And now I have a super official animator glove so my disgusting hand doesn't desecrate the purity of the screen. And there's the pen. With some cords or something, I can only assume it's for the pen. Do I need to sharpen it? That'd be weird. And that's everything in the box. Moving on to setting it up. Okay, I just finished the manual, which means I am now a tech genius and you should trust everything I say. This pen thing actually opens up and gives you extra nibs if a drawing puts up a bit more of a fight than usual and you need a quick reload. You can attach the leather thing to the back of the tablet and get a little angle on your enemies. I'm not confident enough to stick this one-handed. Okay, there we go, and I did it upside down. Now it's all wired up. Make sure you have an adapter or something because the plugs will not be compatible with this laptop. To finish setting it up, you should download the program that runs it. You can also mess with some settings like pressure sensitivity here. Also, if you're not a certain unhinged YouTuber who likes to sit in total silence when they draw, you'll enjoy the headphone jack feature, which lets you plug in your poor people headphones into the tablet and distract yourselves while you're putting the pain in painting. Time for a test piece. My art program has a touch sensitive setting, which makes the lines thicker or thinner depending on the pressure, but I could never use it with a mouse. This is not my first try using this thing, and I think I've gotten over being scared of pressing too hard and hurting it. I'm going to compare this to some line work that I made with a mouse earlier. The ending was way quicker with this thing, and I like the result better as well. There they are, side by side. The differences are slight, but I think I was able to add a lot more tiny detailing and get it done in a lot shorter time. And that's about all I have to say on this. I hope you enjoyed, and if you're still watching, there is a limited time coupon that offers some benefits if you're looking to purchase from this company. You can use a coupon to save up to $50 on the purchase. More details will be in the pinned comment if you're interested, and I'll see you later.